Hello Monday, Twitch and YouTube people. What is going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic week so far. Listen, if you're not, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it really just began. So, very sorry to say. Okay, what do we got going on? KJ, my guy, V, Mr. Photos, and NV. Hello, everyone, hello. Yes, uh, there is a stream tonight. I may or may not should be doing it. <laughs> I'm I'm under the weather. Uh, both me and my eldest are not feeling our very best, but hey, I said I'd be streaming, and streaming is what I shall do. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, all. Welcome back to our UBE playthrough of U-Boat. Reporting for duty. Gotta love it. Okay, I don't remember where we left off. Did I put things in my boat? I did not. I most assuredly did. Whoa, look at all the water in here. My God, so much water. 4.2 meters. 4.2. Yes, KJ, yes. It is uh, par for the course. I can't remember the last time I was perfectly healthy, to tell you the truth. It has been some time. All right, the galley is in huge need of food. Absolutely monstrous amounts of food is required. That's not a word. I made it up. Just go with it. Just go with it. It's okay. We're going to be fine. We can probably squeak a few of these up top. Let's take a few of those. Yes, please. Skipper's going to go do that with some helpers. That's going to be much better, I think. Hot bowl of German potato soup. I've never had a bowl of any German soup, as far as I'm aware, hot or otherwise. Yes, V, I am on vacation. It's one of those lucky, magical things where I finally have a few days off in a row and I uh, feel like garbage. So, yay, right? Isn't that the best? So good. Wolf Sokerod, what is going on, my guy? Okay, how are we doing on that water? 0 0.7, that's falling nicely. Skipper is reloading a couple of rounds into the deck gun for me, which I very so politely requested him to do. It takes a very long time to load 11 rounds, let me tell you. Ah, moving stuff around in a boat. I remember it well. Not super pleased about what I remember. Still, I remember it. All right, he's got three parts, he's got three parts. Cool. Let's go talk to the harbor master. Quartermaster, perhaps. <clears throat> oh, you're going to cheer me up? Fantastic, my guy. Oh, I hear you, photos, 100%. Adam Nightingale, fantastic, my dude. Glad you're here. Can we sail to the Bermuda Triangle? No, we have no milk cows unlocked, so that will not be something we're going to do. However, thank you for the, uh, the idea. That could be cool. Okay, we need better torpedoes, because we've been having a rough go... When it comes to duds and the like, um, upgraded triggers, upgraded triggers, okay. We need go-go juice, that's absolutely required. Um, we could, could we, no, we couldn't squeak one more in there. We could squeak a few down here, and a few down here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, wait, what did I just move? AP. Okay, cool. I got confused for a second. I do that from time to time. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We've got 1,280 out of 750k. That doesn't really make sense, but I'm going to go with it. I'm fine with having more than what they say we can have. So we're just going to run with it. Uh, canned bread stuffs. Always delicious. Um, bully beef. There you go, bully beef. No patats. Okay, patats will be uh, our go-to when it comes to giving things away for free. Load up on eggs as well. We'll take as much food as we can. We run out of food much, much faster than using the vanilla game. Um, I'm tempted. See, I've got no veggies. That's not good, because no veggies means we could get sick. I don't like that idea. I don't. Uh, TMTC, what is going on, my guy? Thank you very kindly for that subscription, my dude. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, for those of you who are not aware, TMTC is, of course, a longtime friend of the channel. You can find uh, him there on the Twitch chat. If you're on um, YouTube, I believe I have him in my recommended channels down below. Um, a few bangs and I'll be cured. There you go, my guy. Well, I appreciate you saying so, V. Appreciate it. 
Have you tried the TDC degrees I sent you? I have a vague memory of a comment on YouTube. I'm sorry, but I haven't. I have not. Soul of compassion. Let's, yeah, let's, let's call V that. Why not? It's fine. Um, more coffee. Always more coffee. Take more coffee if you can. Okay, let's get this crap stuffed into the boat. Get it all mushed on in there. I've got some reputation points that I could spend. I really, really could use another um, leader type. And I don't think I'm anywhere near earning any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Mr. Kinzel right here. And I'm going to go ahead and promote him and then bring him aboard. Actually, first I've got to unlock the... Uh, the oh, what? What? Oh, wow. Everybody else saw that, right? Uh. Send it to me on Discord or what they mean. And, oh, gotcha. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, the uh, degrees. That's what you had sent me. That's... I recall now, yeah. I haven't used the TDC in some time. It was very pretty for a moment. I don't know what the hell happened there. That was something else, eh? Okay. All right, I need a few favors, please. I need to increase the officer limit to six. Good. Now I need to take Mr. Kinzel here and promote him to a leader type. Good. And we're gonna make sure he's on board. Good. Perfection. Now he can go over here. Now we gotta give him something to do. Gotta give him something to do. So we'll go to tasks. I want the skipper and the XO concentrating solely on lookout. Mr. Kinzel, let's work on this, why not? And he's gonna need a sleep schedule. So let's do that. Uh, one and one. And I want him doing this very, very much. Very, very much. That's what I want him doing. Now, he's going to need a schedule. Um, let's do... Maybe we'll have him do eight-hour shifts. Um, what if he got up with the skipper and did eight hours... And then eight hours off, that's six, seven, eight, and then eights. We'll do straight eights. We'll do straight eights. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't do eights. Okay. Well, that makes sense. There's only 24, 24 hours in a day. Three, six, eight. Three, six, eight. Hmm, going to have to rethink this one. Magic getting promoted and then immediately missing movement, right? A safe word. Oh, my dear. Um, maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do fours, right? Four by fours. Two, three, four. And then one. That doesn't work either. Do I not know how to math? I think I don't know how to math correctly. What do we just do 12s? Because all he's doing is that, right? So let's do two, seven at night. Click, 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 click. Seven, and then off duty for the rest. Just 12 hour shifts, doing navigation for 12 hours a day. I think it'll work. I think it'll work. I'm not going to get him any personnel, though. I think that's going to be not so necessary for us. Um, I thought about sixes, but it didn't work out for whatever reason. I must have been clicking it incorrectly. Finally, something to watch. Well, I'm glad to oblige. I am glad to oblige. Okay. Um, I think we unlocked an engineer. So maybe doing something at headquarters is a good idea. Might be a good call. Uh-oh. Everything turned black. Okay, there we go. We're back. Ooh. This is interesting because everything is locked to us because it is uh, 
Very early in the war. Leader requires anything, one assumes? Newspapers. Uh, oh, that just gets done by itself. That's different. Just gets unlocked in a few minutes. That's okay. Well, we'll wait a few minutes. <clears throat> hey there, Chris Cass. What's going on, my guy? All right, I'm just waiting for this uh, odd bit of research that doesn't require any officers to complete. And uh, cool. Now we've unlocked newspapers. I thought we already had newspapers. I mean, live and learn, right? Military stash needs a leader, leader. Okay, we can't actually use my dude for anything, which is poopy. So I have a spare engineer, but that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. Now, should... No, I'm not going to bother with a vacation. We're going to do... We're going to talk to uh, this dude and see what they want us to do. How about that? That's what we'll do instead. Okay, we've got way down in the southern Atlantic kind of area. Small amount of vessels. Engineer out of it. British uh, shipping again. Small amount of vessels. We did find a, a good amount, though. Whoa, we're definitely not going to the Med right now. We're not going through the Strait, and I have no intention of playing uh, this mission, which should be called You Get Attacked by Three Destroyers Who Know Where You Are at All Times. That's what the name of that one should be called. So I guess we'll hit this one again. Um, it is what it is. We don't really have a whole lot of choice in what we're doing. Ooh, hang on a tick. Did we check to make sure we've got a uh, full complement of torpedoes? That could have been bad. Okay, no, we're good. We good, we good, we good. Redfish, boomfish. I like it. That's good. I like that a lot. Okay, uh, throw in a save. Shave, please. A little bit of shaving. And we'll get ourselves on out of here. Once the save kicks in, let's sail to Italy and get pizza. I would prefer Sicily if we're going to get pizza. Sicilian pizza? Mmm, to die for. Fantastic stuff. Alright, speed two, and we have to remember that the boat will not steer itself out of port. Uh, apparently it won't float very well either, I'm just saying. Um, where am I at again? Where am I? I'm here. Right. But I won't steer out of port correctly. So, we've got to let ourselves get out of the slip here. And then, still steer to there. Nice and slow, gentlemen. Good. Okay. And then we'll have him steer that way. Good. Easy does it. Easy does it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're okay now. I think we're all right. I think we're okay. Torpedo a fishing boat. I'm not sure if I can. They're very small and they go very, very quickly. What is up with the stupid navigation here? It's all screwy. It's all gobbledygook. As far, uh, as, far as I'm concerned. Gobbledygook. There we go. Nice. Now we just have to get where we're going, kind of a thing. Probably increase the speed three here. 325 biddies V, my guy. You didn't have to do that. Thank you very kindly, my friend. Appreciates it, my dude. Appreciates it very highly. Can't with that attitude. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. If I believe I can't do a thing, chances are very good I cannot do that thing. You're not incorrect, my friend. Now this guy can't do nav until we're farther away from land. That's why he's just sitting there doing nothing. Like a punk. Whoa. Something broke. What broke? The engines randomly broke. Okay. Uh, that's different. What is happening? What am I hitting? Oh. We're... Oh. We hit a little reef. Huh. We may have beached the boat. Yeah. Yeah, we're kind of flopping. Kind of flopping about. Okay, we're... Okay, listen now. Ugh. I do miss uh, navigation in uh, not UBE, where it would steer me around such things, but hey, I get it. It is what it is. We're cool. We're all right. 
Ooh, that was definitely a thing. Did you guys know there was a little reef there? That's pretty cool. First Canadian beer today, Sleeman's Maple Down. Interesting, okay. I've never personally had a, a Sleeman's Maple. I would think that'd be a little on the sweet side, but hey, what do I know? What do I know? Okay, I need to do a little bit of an experiment here. Will my secondary engine crew take over? If I walk him away. Let's see if they do. Alright, we're slowing down. Slowing down. But, Engines 2 is online. Okay, cool. So it looks like my, sec my secondary crew is doing their job, which is fantastic. I like it. Okay, we have to go all the way yonder. No, no, let me, there we go. All the way up, yay. On the bright side, we know where a lot of the shipping is in there, so that's good. That's good. I like it. How's everybody doing, by the way? Doing good? I'd like to hope you're all doing well. Alright, Mr. Kinzel is doing... Oh. Is it coming towards me? It is. We don't have time to dive. Increase speed. Skipper! Get a helmet, my dude. Grab a helmet, my guy. You're going to be shooting at uh, uh, birdies. Shooting at little birdie birds. Alright, let's call this in. Skipper, grab the flak gun. Good. Aircraft spotted. She's coming right for us. It's coming right for us. We don't have eyes on just yet, but that's okay. Yeah, she's definitely going to notice us. She's up really high, mind you, so that's a bonus. Really high. What do we got? A Bristol Beaufort. Ooh, Jesus, game. Let's all relax. What is happening with right now with all the... Okay, all right. There we go. Bristol Beaufort heading for our position. She's awfully loud. We're going to leave this view because, Jesus, that's loud. That's pretty loud. All right, we're going to slow down a bit. She's going to make her run pretty much now. Here's the skipper. Um, we'll keep HE loaded so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, she's not diving yet. Looks like she's spinning to kill altitude and uh, get down to our level. Brain-wise exhausted. I can understand that. I can. Okay, what are we going to do here? Let's steer this way. She's popping flares, which is interesting. Alright, she might make the run from the rear here. No? Okay. There we go. Alright, maximum. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Come on, cutie pie, show me your teeth. She's shooting at us. Guys, I think she's shooting at me. Alright. Looks like we're okay. She definitely missed us, but we missed her. Well, we tagged her once. We got one tag on her. Let's see what she does next. Slow us down. Popping flares. Poppity pop pop pop. She may just mark us now. Nope. Alright, maximum. Controls. Where do we want to go? Steer away from her. Okay, here we go. Incoming. Oh, I'm definitely steering the wrong way. We okay? We're okay. We tagged her another once or twice. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm not dead. <laughs> no, neither are, neither are we. He's not dead and we're not dead. All right, it looks like he's uh, giving us everything he's got. There go. We will proceed with our patrol as intended. Great. 
We didn't kill him, but he didn't kill us. And that's just as important, I think. Maybe even more important, to tell you the truth. Okay, where are we going? We're going this way. This is the way we're going. Cool. <coughs> Pardon me. The beer was nice. Good, good. I'm glad it was. I'm glad. Very good. All right. Let us proceed to our area of responsibilities, or AOR. Funnel smoke spotted, you say? I'm intrigued. What do we got? What's going on out here? That is an empire. Uh, it could be Swiss, or it could be British. Could be Swiss, could be British. We're just going to jam ourselves into high gear and see what happens. We'll get a little closer. Get a little bit closer. Okay. She's showing up as an ally. Maybe German. Look at that. It's a German boat. You're a German boat. Did you know that? Are you aware that you're a German boat, sir? Hello? Hey, look at that. She's one of ours. The Sperrbrecker. Sperr... Sperrbrecker. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's okay if I am. It's alright. I don't need to be perfect. I mean, I prefer it, but I don't need to be, per se. Cosmic B, are you meant to be doing that? I feel like you might have been meant to be doing something else, but that's okay. Nice. Okay. We'll, we'll uh, leave the Sprecken or whatever off to do its own thing, and we'll go do our thing, and maybe we'll meet in the middle someday, buy each other a beer. Right? Buy each other a beer somewhere out in the middle where the watermelons grow. That's not a thing. Game looks slightly different. Is it fully out? No. No, it is not. It will be out, well, according to the devs, it will be out either this month or next. This month or next. However, if you have not played in some time, uh, it could be that you're just simply out of date with the game, or it's because I'm using mods. Either way, one of those things is true, I would imagine. And uh, yeah, but no, it is not fully released yet. Precisely view. Strange addiction to Canadian maple cookies. They are delicious. They're so good, in fact, that I choose not to buy them because I will eat all of them. That will just num 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 num. Just munch them on up, and uh, that's that's really all there is to it. I can't uh, can't really get enough. All right, let's shave down this distance a little bit by altering our course ever so slightly. Um, we can do another fourteen thousand four hundred. You, uh, with our current usage. We do get a little bit of a hype for that, for having additional sailors on the engine. I could boost that a bit more with Mr. Kinzel here, but I don't see a reason to. We're definitely not going to be running out of fuel anytime soon. Now, it's possible I may have to change Mr. Kinzel's um, um, schedule, because a full 12 hours seems to be a little much. Plus, he was supposed to be... Oh, okay, he is done. Let's let's amend his schedule slightly, shall we? Let's amend Mr. Kinzel's schedule ever so slightly. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to marry it up perfectly with the other officers, though. So let's go six off here, and then six on here, and then six off, and then six on. Yeah, I want him just off kilter from the other officers, just a, or the other leaders, just a little bit. Um, unfortunately, I did that in such a way that he's going to pass the hell out at his station. So, we'll give him a cup of coffee, and with any luck, that'll keep him going until his next break. Or he'll pass out of the station. Which, I mean, happens to the best of us. Right? Happens to the best of us. Moon Mist Ice Cream. It is definitely something, KJ. It's not what you're thinking. It's, I guarantee you it's not what you're thinking, because it's not even what I'm thinking. Moon Mist ice cream is a different kind of animal. It's impossible to uh, to say what it tastes like. It's absolutely impossible. It's just one of those things that we weird little Canadians do. Fond memories of this game. Finally unlocked acoustic torpedo. Shot one of the convoy ships. Torpedo went for a freighter's rotor from the left. Missed by only a few meters. Detected the rotor to his right. Turned around and hit the ship from the right. Making the... Yeah, I mean, that'll work. Yeah, sure. Um, Chris Clark, 134, hello, welcome to the channel, thanks for that follow, appreciate it. Okay, we are telling mommy and daddy that we've made it to the, uh, assigned sector. So maybe we'll get our allowance this week, right? 
We need to find boats. I'm going to do a hunt like right there. Maybe we'll get lucky uh, upon entering the sector here and pick up something we can attack. There's going to be a lot of war patrols up here, unfortunately. It's not exactly the sector of uh, fun, fun, and sun, sun. That's sector BF1. It's a recipe for, for it most odd. Yes, there's banana, there's fruit, there's purple. <laughs> very, very odd flavor, to be sure. Eat proper, decent maple syrup. Gonna make a beer with it. There you go, my guy. Why not? You know what I mean? Give it a go. All right, boat is descending. See if we can pick anything up. An 8 to 18 moving out of the sector. That is worth a look, I think. Maybe going out of the sector. They tend to uh, swap as soon as you lose sight of them. I don't really... I think that's a bug. But it is what it is. All right, let's do speed four. I don't want to be too far ahead of them overall. Yeah, we'll give that a try. Timbits, what do they put in them? It's just donut holes, my dude. It's just, uh, you take a donut, you chop the middle out, and boom. Well, you don't, actually. It's not actually donut holes. It hasn't been donut holes for many, 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 many years, because now they're made individually. Little, little round dough bits, you know what I mean? But, yeah. Okay, let's do another dip here, so we can keep an eye on where that convoy was heading. Hope to pick them up again. All right, what? Whoa, 31 to 69. That's worth turning around for. 31 to 69. Oof, that is something. And there's purple. What flavor is purple? It's purple. <clears throat> okay, um... Okay, we're running at speed four. Oof, big convoy. Very big. Very big. I might have meant grape. I don't know. I tend to say odd things. Alright, can we... Oh, we're not going to get eyes on nothing. It's a gross night out. Plus, we're probably at least 30 kilometers away. If not more. Alright, let's do another dippity dip. <clears throat> a little dippity doo -dah, And uh, see if we can figure out where they're going. Perfect. We seem to be on the money for the most part. Keep on going. Ooh, and there's an 8 to 18 down there too. There's all kinds. All kinds of stuff coming out of the woodworks this time. I like it. <clears throat> I like unleash chaos. I think, yeah, it's good. Let us unleash the chaos. Still storming like crazy out. Seas quieted down a little though. Looks like the sun could break. Uh, nothing within sight range, but then I didn't really expect that. Maybe if we were using the periscope, it's possible, but not likely. Not very likely. Let's slow down to three here. We'll uh, dip again. Re-engage our hydrophone. Right on. Okay. This is this is this is not terrible. This is not a terrible thing that we've got going on here. Let's increase speed to four. Okay. Now, we don't want to move too far. We don't want to be too overshot here. Got nothing in the way of smoke on the horizon yet, but again... This weather is not particularly conducive to that. However, this weather will be nicely conducive to, uh... Okay, I think... It's possible that they're in this direction. Roughly my 30 degrees. I'm getting... Like, I don't know. A really odd hint of smoke. Like a slightly, slightly lighter color. <clears throat> one fish, one kish... Uh, <clears throat> challenge. Not with this mod, no. The mod we're using, uh, combined with the the maximum difficulties and realism for torpedoes. Not a good idea. You tend to just waste a whole lot of torpedoes. Lots of duds. Been getting lots of duds this playthrough. Which, you know, I asked for by putting it on uh, max realism. Well, not max, uh, max torpedo realism. 
still. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> All right. Keep moving a little bit here. I don't like a uh, game. Am I allowed to play? Okay. It just kind of stopped doing things for a minute. Hello? Game. Game. Are we good? I think we're okay. All right. Wow, I'm getting some wickedly bad uh, spikes here. Wickedly bad spikes. Not liking that. Okay, this is definitely boats. See the slightly off color? It's definitely ships here. Right there. In fact, that's a destroyer. I can see the swept back, um... Swept back, um, maybe radio antenna or something. We're gonna go ahead and zoom a little bit here. Try to make up a little lost, uh... Lost time. <clears throat> yeah, it's... it's see... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Let's achieve our objectives. So I found that the devs, um, interesting concept of allowing all the ships to render is quite interesting. Um, it leads to an awful lot of, uh, jitteriness, but at the same time, I kind of get it. I kind of get it in a way. Okay, so they're roughly to my... 30 degrees. We're going to increase speed again. Because they're still pretty far out. I think. How are we doing now? Alright. There's Mr. Destroyer guy. Can't see his friends yet. But they're right here. Oh man, is it ever tough. That's an empire there. Must be on our side of the convoy. That's an empire. That's a... I want to say that's a liberty. I think it's a liberty. Okay. So they're at my... What are, what are they at again? Approximately... So the lead ship is at my 30 degrees. Hmm. We need to make up more room. So let's cut this... Oh, wee. That was terrible. Cut that way. High speed, and then cut in. Man, this is getting really tough to control here. Very tough to control. Like, I am I might be getting, like, 10 FPS on the map screen right now. Okay, now we're in a slightly better position, I think. I'm going to go ahead and engage blue lighting. Um, now, and dive the boats. To, no, we'll go lower than periscope, we'll go to 30. Little quick like now we should get the big ears on mom was in town yesterday I was trying to show her that you can see my ship from the bridge that crosses the river got it I see what you're saying played on my old PC we get a loading animation small circle on the right always let it finish before loading to not bug the game true understood understood I however am a very impatient man I'm super not good at being patient I'm going to go ahead and... I don't think they're there. I don't think they're there. I think that's a lie. I think they're over in front of me somewhere. Oops. Maybe not. Alright. Swing us around real quick like it started on torpedoes. I don't think they're going to hear me in this storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do what I tell... Why am I... What? Why on the surface? Who the hell said go back to the surface? Did I say go back to the surface? Oh, that's not good. Oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. I didn't mean to do that. All right, speed one to the forward. Okay. I need more torpedoes, gentlemen, more. Man, oh man, I really didn't think I would have overshot by that much, right? Okay. Alrighty, unless we've got two separate convoys, which is possible. Take me down to 40. You, more torpedoes. Alright. You, more torpedoes. We're getting pretty close to them now. We don't want to be making too much noise here. However, I don't see any other ships. 
And that bothers me a bit, because there we go. I'm starting to see other ships now. Good. It's about, I'm looking at about 3,400. Got a lot of T1s. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Um, let's go dive planes to manual. Let's put you on depth keeping for me. And let's keep moving at speed one for the moment. We're a good f almost 5k out. Bring warm blankies. There you go. I like it. Warm blankies. It's good stuff. A lot of boats here. An awful lot of boats here. We're just trying to cut down the distance ever so slightly. Something like, let's just eyeball it. It's about 4,400 to that guy. I'd like to keep moving for a little while longer. Just a wee little bit. I'd like to bring that down closer to 4. Only doing speed ones. We're not making a ton of noise right now. Cosmic, my guy, what is up? Did I already say that? I might have already said that. My bad. Okay. So we're looking at shots of a little under 5k. So let's stop the boat here. And we're going to start getting some values, my guy. Some values. Value as... Need to put this on the boat. Thank you. What is up? We are attacking a very large convoy. Say, what was it? A 36 to 66 or something like that? Very large convoy. Quite indubitably large. And we are getting a speed and course from our friends. Speed and course. We're going to time it for one minute. Use our chart. Add a little bit of a... Mm, don't know kind of a thing to the category. Because once you can do it perfectly, well, you're always going to hit. And sometimes it's nice to bring a little bit of uncertainty to the game. Hence why people tend to use an awful lot of mods. So That is why. That is why. Okay, 20 seconds left in the run. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. 17 seconds. It is a lovely position. You're not wrong. Not a bad spot to be in at all. Coming up on 60. And 60. Good, good, good. Oop. I was going to say I played this game enough to know that you have bigger... <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know about being bold, let's say. It's just a matter of having done it a thousand times, you know what I mean? You tend to start to get an idea of what you can and can't get away with. That being said, it's not like I know I can get away with this. I could easily die. Okay, so they went 208 meters. They're going fairly slowly. Um, 208 is, oh, let's say 6.7 is what I'm going to go with. 6.7 is going to be my huckleberry there. 6.7 and 55 degrees is the course of this convoy. So let's start entering that so I don't forget. 6.7, course of 55 degrees. Can't wait for the new update. <clears throat> it's almost dead slow. They must be fully laden. Only, only time will tell. There's no way to know. 6.7. And again, we could be off a little bit because I'm using the chart. 6.7, 55. I forgot the course for the last guy. 55. Good. Any convoy above 20 is likely going terribly slow. Yes and no. So if you were playing this in vanilla, pretty much every convoy there is is going to be doing 7. They're always doing 7 for eternity. That's just how it works. But that's okay. It's okay. It gives you an idea of how to play the game, and then you can make things harder for yourself over time. All right. Just letting these guy, this guy squeak by me a little bit. I was, I'm was, i tempted to kill him, but I don't know how many more um, uh, escorts are in the convoy, so I don't really want to do that. Once he gets past me a little bit, we'll uh, turn on the engines and start moving. I'd like to cut down how far away this is. Let's go with speed one. I think we'll be safe. Asdick is going to be quite poor right now. 
quite poor. Wow, this is a big convoy. Me oh my. Oh. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Whew. Counterpoint, how many people play vanilla? Quite a few, actually. Most people have been um, uh, bitten rather severely when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to um, playing with mods, because it tends to break your game over and over and over. <clears throat> Does he really need to aim? <laughs> You're gonna need a bigger boat. They are gonna need a bigger boat. You're not wrong. Okay. So maybe we do. Let's get a circle. Huh? Let's make a little circle, circle. Little bippity bop. Little circle. Here we go. That's going to be target one, I think. That guy. Target two is going to be that fellow. So we're looking at roughly 1,200 meters apart for the torpedoes, give or take. Again, strictly rough eyeballing. I don't want to be perfect. I'm not interested in being perfect. Let's come up to two zero meters and get ready to fire. All right. Um, distance to target one. We're gonna have to wait on because we're not at two zero meters yet. We'll have to adjust these points ever so slightly. That's okay though. Almost to 20. 20 meters there. Okay, let's adjust this ever so slightly because it takes a little time to warm these guys up. So, target one, sitting at approximately 3428. 3428. Fishy one and two, we're going to use impact triggers here. Um, dispersion will bring it down to 30. And, okay, you, I want you to, okay, he's using the periscope. I'd rather he wasn't. I don't, I can't do anything about that at the moment, though. Um, 34, 22, yeah, this should, uh, hang on now, because this is going to take a little, uh, maybe that much. It'll be close. It'll be really close. And we're firing. And we're firing. One away, two away, you put the periscope down. Pool game, I'm pressing certain buttons, and I need you to understand that the buttons I'm pressing are the buttons I want you to press. Thank you. Okay, um, fishies are doing fishy things. I gotta get to that circle, so we're looking at more like this. 29, 21, let's lower this down to 1150-ish. There we go. Just bring that down a little bit. Sorry everybody, I can see you chatting. I'm, I'm concentrating for, at the moment, sorry about this. Okay, target two. It's going to be about 21.95, give or take. Um, it's actually going to be a little further. 21, or sorry, a little closer. 21.69. No, for, uh, uh, closer. 21.69. That's 21.96. 21.69. Okay. All right. And we're getting ready. Loading up tubes three and four, being prepared to fight war. Um, flooded. Make one last adjustment here. Twenty-one seventy-three. Two one seven three. Okay, ready. And breathe. Punch him. One away. Two away. Okay, I need you to load a torpedo double quick time. Good. Okay. It moves forward at speed two. Speed two is what we're going to do. So I want to get a little deeper into this convoy and maybe do a little more damage. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, the shots don't look bad. Timings look okay. We're going to hit this guy a little early. 
that's fine. It's honestly fine. Let's go take a look at this ship. Ooh, the sun came out. Interesting. So this is the rear target, the Sire. And this is my forward target, I believe. The Mostin. Mostin. They are both UK ships, it seems like. Uh, hello? Where'd the other guy go? Hello? I don't like it when I lose the boats. It makes me sad. Makes me kind of sad. Okay. Ready? Let's do this. Whew. Alright. Come on, baby blue. One good hit on the closer target. Two good hits on the closer target. What about this fella? Shouldn't be able to slam on his brakes, I don't think. Might be able to. Ooh, very nice. What do we have there? Five, six seconds? Snapped her in two, baby. Mmm, snapped her in two. Yeah. That'll do it. Oof. Good lord. Okay. Leave that view. Ha ha ha. This is the German Coast Guard. Alright. We're thinking, we're thinking. What are you thinking about? Yep, that's two kills right there. That is two kills. Alright, we're going maximum speed until this guy turns around because I want to get some more uh, smashing uh, carried out. We're going to drop down to four zero meters so I can borrow Mr. Jansen here. And begin loading more torpedoes as best we can. Okay, let's move into the convoy. You know, I think this convoy might have only had the one escort. That's kind of horrifying in a, in a lot of ways. I kind of wish it had more. Now I feel dumb. I should have just shot that guy. Right? Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we can get done here. I'd like to get right into the convoy so I can use the, the aft tube as well. Let's warm up one of the ones we put to the forward, please. Okay, he's starting to get a good turn on me. He's going to be picking up my, my engines shortly. Slow to one. All right, we got another escort there, but not much. Not much in the way of escorts. Let's warm up that T2. And I think if we're lucky, we can fire it at that guy. Let's bring it up to... No. Stay under for now until I've got somebody for depth keeping. Easy. No, nope, not that. Depth keeping. Okay, relax. Everything's fine. We're all good. Let's come up to two zero meters. We're gonna fire into this dude. Alright, this guy. He's a little far away. I don't like to do cowboy shots quite like this, but let's go a speed of six. Distance of approximately 1200. Proximate course is pretty close to that 55, in all honesty, so that's fine there. Let's do... Let's do a... Hmm. Um, let's do a single for now. Let's fire that. Alright, I need another torpedo, guys. I really do. You are going to give me another torpedo. Need more. I'd like to get these T2s used up where they're so close to us. We're going to keep on moving forward in the convoy as best we can. Alright, that little fishy looks to be on the straight and narrow. She's turning away, which I don't like because it can screw up the, uh, the, like, make it a glancing blow. Definitely should have used two. We've got a Liberty here. That's a Liberty. Two torpedoes would have been much smarter, but it is what it is. Didn't know what it was, so we're just firing blind. Firing blind. Come on. Here we go. Incoming. Not a bad hit. We've got some fires. We've got some fires. That's okay. That's all right. We can do. We can deal with that. He's loading that one. We've got this guy coming up from the rear. We got to watch that. I'd like to get right into the convoy so I can use the rear. Let's speed up. Let's tempt fate a little bit here. Speed up. Alright, he loaded another one for me. Let's get another one loaded. T2s. 
okay, this guy's a problem, this guy's a problem, but not yet, I don't think. Not just yet. Let's get on in here, shall we? I need warming carried out. Warming, gentlemen, warming. Loading and warming going on. I need another one warmed. <sighs> Easy does it. You warm up number five. I want to shoot this guy and this guy. That's what we want to do here. Uh, six bit. Thanks for that follow. Much obliged. Welcome to the channel. Hello, hello. Okay. I don't love the angle on this one, but we're going to try it anyway. All right. Slow to one. I mean, this target distance at 1200. Approximate course 62. Sorry, that's down here. 62. And speed of approximately six. Let's give her both tubes. One and two. <sighs> okay. Let's keep everything set the way it is. Dispersion and all that. We're punching that tube. Let's steer this way. Target to the rear. Target to the rear is approximate distance of 630 meters or so. Close that. 630, approximate course 50, approximate, approximate speed 6, rear tube, let's go magnetic on it, bring it down in the water to 35. And we're still moving forward at speed 1. Um, what's the distance now? 6639, three, let's call it 645. Six, 645 should be fine. And fire it. Okay, more torpedoes. We're starting to run low. I did not expect to find a, a convoy of this size at all. This is kind of ridiculous, not going to lie. It's a little crazy. All right. Oof. First day with my new mouth, sorry. Okay, this guy's looking good, but the angle is terrible. I don't know about this. I should have went with magnetics on this shot, I think. Oh, was that? No. Where are they at? No, still coming in. Okay. Oh, we might... Uh, I think we're going to hit this guy first. Um, Spinaroonie. C3 we fired at is forward. 10 seconds to impact. Good hit on the C3. Good hit on our aft target. Only one hit on the C3. I'm looking at a dud, I think. Hmm. Did I hit both? No, that's a dud. That's okay. That's all right. We had a we had a single dud. It happens. It happens to the very best of all of us. Love to reload that rear tube now. Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Just laying waste about me, people. Laying waste about me. Whew, bad day for the convoy. You're not wrong. Speed run. There you go. <clears throat> um, sorry, I missed out. I can only scroll up so far, everybody, in the uh, chat. Sorry about that. Okay, um, what are we doing? This guy to my forward. I think I have one warm fishy. Let's keep on moving towards him, then. Pretty sure I've only got a single warm torpedo right now. i got to stop, or else I'm going to lose the ability to fire. Because the torpedo needs, oh, let's call it 300 meters to arm. So, distance to target is approximately 620 meters. Course is something to tune to 6.5. Speed is approximately 6. Let's do magnetic again. Send it low. And punch that. She's gone. She are gone. Uh, Tenale, thanks for that uh, uh, follow. Appreciate it. Much obliged. 
Okay, let's see if we get this guy. It's a single fish, but we sent it low. Probably should just, if I'd known it was a C3, I would have sent it lower. Whoa, okay, we must hit the bingo button. We hit the bingo button on that one. Turns out if you poke it in the butt, its nose falls off. I don't know if you guys knew that, but uh, yep, that's a thing. That is a thing. <laughs> oh, silliness. That's silliness. Don't ever go with that. That's never going to work again, just so everybody's aware. That's not going to work. Oh, my God. I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> it feels kind of dumb. Okay, let's get some more loaded up, and we're going to keep on heading into the convoy here at a high rate of speed. I don't think nobody can hear me. Ooh, look at those uh, pixels per second I'm getting. Right? Pixels. Pixels per second, baby. Um, We can get a little closer, I think. A little closer, a little closer, a little closer. Mmm, that angle sucks. Okay, no. We're going to keep on moving at speed one. Get this guy to come out from behind us a little bit. See if we can nail it with the rear tube. Look at that angle. That's disgusting. Don't like that at all. No. Um, okay, we're probably going to stop there. Easy. All right, rear tube. Distance, 353. A little bit of a stretch here. It's close. It's really close, but it should still arm. Should still arm. Approximately 60 degrees. Speed of approximately 6. Rear tube, impact trigger, 1.5 meter depth. Oof. Um, yeah, she was a little slower than I'm used to these days. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Times change. Times change. Okay. We got this time. It's an NA1. Those cute little buggers. I miss those guys. Used to see them all the time in the vanilla game. Now they're rare. Pretty rare for these days. Cute little NA1 fella. Isn't that something? <laughs> Isn't that something? Ten seconds, apparently. Let's see if we get it. It's awfully small. Definitely harder to shoot, um... Shoot these guys when they're tiny. And you're just, if, like, guessing at everything. I think we missed her. Pretty sure I missed her. Yeah, it's a miss. Yep, went to the rear, understood, small ship. We've been hitting everything to the rear using speed of six, so going a little slower. Oh, oh, the pixels. Oh, no. So many pixels. Give me number one and number two to the forward, please, gentlemen. Whatever that is, we're going to shoot it down. Whatever that fella is right there, she's going to get shot down. Uh, looks like we've got two ships that we can take out with the death gun once the convoy clears out. They're not moving anymore. 640, no, no, no. So, I think they're only a little less than 6. So, let's say 5.8, see if that works for us. Because if they're going past my shot and I've got it set to 6, slowing it down makes the most amount of sense. Right? So, 648 meters. Um, approximate course of 50. Give me these torpedoes. Flattery will get you nowhere. Um, one second, everybody. I'm missing a screen here. And I have a thousand things in my way. Come on, computer. Work with me here. Um, Boogie. Boogie. Now, there's a name I haven't seen in quite some time. Boogie would like to compliment everybody. Boogie. Uh, Boogie. Uh, Boogie. My guy. I like the fact that your name not only makes me think of uh, people doing the twist... Uh, earlier in the century, uh, of last century, later in last century, mid-last century, but also the fact that it makes me think of Oogie Boogie from one of my favorite all-time movies, uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and I appreciate you for that, my guy. <clears throat> the other way, if you missed to aft, you should add to speed. Let's think about that for a second. So, if I said it was going a speed of six, right? and the torpedo goes behind it, then that means if I say that the ship is going slower than six, the torpedo should hit it. Does that make sense? Can we get a consensus? Does anybody think we should get a consensus? 
<clears throat> yes, Samurai, I know you think it's the other way, 100%. Would anybody like to weigh in, please? Because I'm not sure that makes any sense to me. Because if I said the boat was going six and it missed to the forward, then I think the boat is going slower than it is. Right? <clears throat> the boat's moving faster. I'm not sure if that makes sense to me. If I tell the torpedo the boat is going at speed 6, and it misses to the rear, if I tell it that it's moving slower than 6, it should hit in the middle of the boat. Right? <clears throat> the boat is outrunning your torpedo. Hmm. Let me think about this. So if I tell the torpedo that the boat is going speed of six, and it fails to hit the boat because it goes behind it, then the boat, in my opinion, is traveling slower than six. If I told it the boat was traveling faster than six, shoot, wouldn't the same thing apply? Hmm. Okay, so what am I saying wrong? Is there a difference forward and backwards firing a torp? Uh, yeah, your angles have to be opposite. Your angles would be opposite. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Rather than debate it for eternity, I'll say it's going faster. I'll say it's going 6.2. Right? Okay, we're going to say it's going 6.2. And we're going to fire a single torpedo at it. We're going to figure this out. Ooh, 648 is not correct. It's 678. There we go. All right, torpedo away. She's launching. And we're going to be staying right here so we can fire at her friend that's coming up behind her. Looks good. Except now it's hitting way in the forward. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's going to hit, but it's hitting way to the forward. Hmm. There's got to be some kind of happy medium here. Definitely does. Ten seconds, apparently. Yeah, so it's hitting more forward than the midship. Not sure I understand. I must be missing some kind of integral piece of physics. Because that doesn't really make sense to me. But hey, I never claimed to be a scientist, people. Most certainly did not. Now the angle on this guy is going to suck, so we're going to have to use an impact here. 451 for the distance. Let's say 6.2 for the speed, because it worked for the last guy. And angle is more like 4.0. So let's go magnetic torpedo, drop it down to three meters. No idea what I'm shooting at. We're doing all of this blind, so we'll just leave it as is, I guess. The escorts don't have a clue what's going on. Not a clue. And I'm picking up two escorts for the whole convoy. Two. If I had known there was only two, I'm telling you right now, I would have just taken them out. And just, then again, there was an awful lot of liberties in C3s. It's unlikely that I would want to stay on the surface the whole time. Alright, that Liberty is burning and she stopped moving, so we'll be able to mop her up after. So we have another, at least three ships that we haven't, like, fully dropped yet. Incoming. Boom. Now that one hit, like, aft of midships. Hmm. Difficult. Difficult, difficult. Okay, we're going to get low. Let's get down to 5-0. Let's make sure the motors are dead, please. And we're just going to float on down to the bottom. Oh my god, what am I getting for FPS here? Like, this is gross. I'm getting 50 FPS right now. Four, 31 FPS at time compression. Oof. Mods, man. Mods. It is difficult to do a precise calculation, right? Solution would have the torp more to your left. I'm sorry, Ian. I don't know what that means. It probably meant something in the moment, but some time has gone by. 
However, I will try to uh, rearrange my way of thinking to uh, more fit with that, uh, that level of science. Not gonna lie, it still doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but it is what it is. All right, they have lost their um, alarmed status. So now it's just a matter of waiting for them to get the hell out of my way. We're gonna want at least Ooh, probably 20 kilometers, so they won't have time to turn around us when I start using the deck gun. Speed is just a prediction. If you increase the speed, the angle of your torpedo will move further towards the target's direction. As I understand the way the game works, and again, this is just how I understand how the game works. I didn't build it, obviously. I am of the... Uh, the concept, as it was explained to me, is this game cares about where the escort, or sorry, where the target will be, much not so much about where, like where the target is. Does that make sense? I might not be making sense. All right, we got to get out of the get out of the water here. Turn the alarm off so people can go about their bit their business. Okay, we are gonna do a little bit of deck gunning. That's the thing we're gonna do. We get Mr. Cosmic here. Cosmic, you get to use the deck gun, my guy. Don't you feel special? Don't you feel special? We are going to go kill that guy, and then we're going to go kill that guy. That's what we're going to do. We're not going to use the radio just yet, even though I... Oh, we've got nuclear-powered submarine powers again, people. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Fusion. Fusion. Cool. I think we can do speed three here. Um, you can take some more help, too. You don't need to be on there just this moment. You can rest up a little bit. Okay. Let's get on over here and say hello. Wow, talk about a spike. Everything just locked up completely. Yeesh. If your torpedo goes over the target, you set your torpedo's depth too high. That makes sense, V. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good call. That's a very good call, my guy. You should write that down. I think you ought to write that down. I'm just saying. All right, let's get on over here, let the air out of this guy. Let's let the air out of this fella. Okay, HE is loaded. Nice, nice, nice near the water line. Well, we may want to adjust course ever so slightly. So it looks like I'm steering right into the back end of her, and we don't want that. Say, nah, son, we don't want to do that. No, no, no. Put a couple more uh, bubbles in. Uh, oh, skipped in. Skipped in. I like that. Um, That might do it. She's bleeding out. Still, I don't want to make a second pass. Yeah, that's going to do it for him. Good stuff. So we're going this way next. This wise. Going this wise. We're not bothering with uh, picking up personnel or nothing this time around. We're entirely too close to an evil, evil convoy. The evil, evil convoy may wish us harm for what we've done to them. I wouldn't blame them at all, realistically. I think they're uh, sort of owed their vengeance, but we're not going to give it to them. Because we're stingy. We're stingy people. We don't like to give them what they want. <clears throat> oh, I have no doubt there was. I have no doubt that was a bug at one point in time. There we go. A little, little water in from that direction. And a little bit from that direction. Gotta love these uh, waterline shots. There it is. Now you're done. Now you're done. You're done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, radio transmissions. Let's do it. Let's make a lot of them. Whoa! Eleven messages to send apparently. E live in. Uh, Mr. Cosmic, go about your business. Probably first let the water out of the boat. There's 1.5 meters sitting inside my hull, and I don't want it to be there. Cool. Very cool, my guy. Um, no, we're definitely not going to be boarding, because even if they've got gold, these guys are 25 kilometers away, and you will sit on the surface and wait for up to three days 
in order to move stuff onto your boat. That seems unbelievably dangerous to me, and I don't think it's a good idea. I do not believe that that is a good call. We're going to keep an eye on those guys. They're, they're interesting. Those are some interesting fellas. We may... We may revisit this situation. Something like that. We may go back to see them again, depending on what I got left in the, uh, in the belly of this thing. We've used an awful lot of our gear. Um, that being said... Let's take quick stock here. We have two entire torpedoes left. Still, two torpedoes. Better than no torpedoes. I don't know if you guys knew that, but it's true. It is true. Yes, indeed. V, we're going to be taking a short break, everybody. We've been on for about an hour 15 now. Short little break, something to the tune of uh, 10 to 12 minutes at the at the max for the most part. And um, one for each escort. Well, one of them is a destroyer. It's very unlikely I'm going to kill a destroyer with one torpedo. Extremely unlikely. So I don't know about that one. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll reevaluate when we get back. All right, folks, again, uh, 10 to 15 minutes. If you choose to leave the stream now, thanks so very kindly for coming by in the first place. I do stream every Monday and Wednesday. Hope to see you in the future. For those of you who are going to stick around for just a wee little bit, see you soon. It's no gelandi.
folks. What do you say we try to get back at it? Kind of a sort of a thing. Just need a moment before the game gets picked up by the software. Pardon me. Okay, looks like we're back online. Perfect. All right, we are going to give that convoy a fair berth. Probably more of a berth. We're going to give it a berth like that. Then we're going to try to re-engage with it because I do have a couple of extra little fishy fish. And we would very much like to say hello once again to our friends and neighbors. Okay, dive planes back to electric. Everything seems to be copacetic. Navigation's a little low. We expected that. We were using our officers for other things. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Mr. Jansen, I'm going to need your expertise in moving that last torpedo into place. Tubes 1 and 3 seems appropriate. All right. See if we can get out in front of them again. What year is this? It is currently 1940, my God. Holy God. Wolf Sokorod. Wowzers, my dude. That's a lot of biddies, my guy. Thank you so very kindly. I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you, my dude. Wow. Wowzers. Okay. Appreciate it, my guy. I do. Biddies, biddies, ahoy. Love them biddies. Okay. We are, for those of you just joining us, we just had, had engaged quite a large convoy. A very large convoy, to be sure. And uh, we laid merry waste about us. Uh, we're down to two torpedoes out of our total loadout of, what, eight, four, twelve, sixteen? So yeah, we used a lot of turpidus, quite a few of them to be exact. All right, we're going to want to speed up because we want to beat them there. We want to beat them to wherever it is they're going because we want to get all tucked in and say hi. All right, we're going to turn to the line now. Let's get Mr. Cosmic here to have a little look-see for us. Maybe we can pick up the smoke. We can't. We may have outclassed them a bit or they may have changed course on us. Either one of those may be what's going on. I don't... Eh, we could be far enough away that we wouldn't pick them up. Or they're out in front of me in the opposite direction. I, I did not uh, cut in fast enough. One of the two. One of the two is correct. Yeah, we'll have to do a dip. We're approximately 20 kilometers from where I think they ought to be. Have ourselves a little dippity dip. And uh, with any luck, we'll find them again. Very much enjoy finding them again. Two more torpedoes. I figure at least one ship, if not two. Depending on where the cut the uh, escorts are. I mean, we're not doing very badly for, for ourselves, considering uh, we basically just entered the sector and came across this unbelievably monster-sized convoy. We're doing okay. Huh. I don't know. Okay. Hang on now. We got a lot going on. There's a lot going on here. Now these could be off by 16 kilometers. I think they split up into smaller convoys. That occasionally happens when you uh, attack the crap out of one. It's like they uh, reevaluate their positions in life or some such thing. So it is possible that they simply broke up into smaller convoys. Which honestly I would do. If you know you got taken down that hard. Uh, Roush guy. I... Do you know what? That name sounds vaguely familiar to me. Have we met, sir? Okay. And I'm Turo. Hello, hello, Turo. Both of you, thank you very kindly for them follows. Appreciate it. Much obliged. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Nothing on the Uzo currently. Nothing on the Uzo. I don't want to get too far out. Now I'm thinking about it because we don't want to overshoot. Let's do another dip here. See if we can figure out what's going on. This will possibly cut down the errors we're getting when it comes to our big ears. 16 to 37 behind us, 4 to 9 in front of us, 5 to 12 in front of us. I think I want to keep moving forward. I know the bigger convoy is, oh, the bigger convoy is down here though. Let's whip this thing around, see what happens. Let's take uh, take chances here. Lost my phone, you old Nick was... There it is! Casey James Roche. Yes, perfect. 
I think these convoys that are smaller won't have escorts. That's very possible. Very, very possible. However, um, given that we've only got two torpedoes, I want the largest group possible to take our shots at. Very much like to shoot the largest possible group. It'll give us, a, give us more of a chance to use our torpedoes. All right, says they're there now. I'm going to kill the motors here. And we're just going to sit here, left, let the world uh, pass by kind of a thing. Or let the world get closer to us anyway. Mayhaps we'll catch sight of something with the Uzo before too much longer. It's one, it's about 2 a.m. Um, here we go. So this is the one to our forward. Can I pick up anything to the rear? No, because we've moved fair, a fair bit uh, beyond them now. Okay, um, my best guess is these guys are at least 12 kilometers out um, at my 55 degrees, so I think we should keep moving forward at least at speed 2. And we'll see how that does for us. I did overshoot them the last time, though. So now they're at a 60 degree. Yeah, I'd say distance somewhere between 12 and 15. I'm not getting any indication of their uh, antennas or anything like that. We'll slow down. Grumpy gamer guy, what's going on, my dude? How you been? What is up? Okay. So we slow down a fair bit. Do you know what we're going to do? We're just going to go under. We'll hunt underneath for, for now. I think it's just going to be easier. Um, big ears, please. There we go. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's let's keep moving forward. Let's keep moving forward. We're at blue lighting. We're not using a lot of oxygen. They keep hopping backwards on me. I don't want to stop now. There it is. Okay. We're looking at about three kilometers. Let's keep moving forward. Let's keep moving forward. And I want to get those torpedoes up and running, gentlemen. Need to get them fishies on the go. What do you say? That's one of them. There's the other. We've got two shots we can take. Two. Two little shoots. It's a fair amount of smoke. You're not wrong. All right. We're looking at... Okay. We want to stop. We want to stop. We're looking at a kilometer to a kilometer and a half, roughly. Even less in a lot of ways. All right, I don't see escorts, but that doesn't mean anything. Oh, forgot to uh, unlock the periscope for him. Okay, periscope's unlocked. I'm staring at the sky. I need red lighting for a short amount of time. Because it is quite dark out. There we go. Okay. Looking forward, I've got a Liberty, which may or may not be armed. It's not lighting up, but we have a lot of distance there. Two more Liberties. Jesus. Tonnage, tonnage, tonnage. A C3, a Liberty, an Empire, a Tanker. Mmm. Mmm. Liberties and C3s everywhere. If even half of them are armed, coming to the surface would be not a great idea. In all honesty, not a fantastic plan. But yeah, there's a tanker there too. I think the tanker is like one of my closest targets, I think. Right? It is. Oh. Oof. Close, 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 close target. I do love hitting tankers with torpedoes. It makes me happy on the inside. Okay. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? I think I have an issue. All right, I'm thinking a couple of torpedoes. Get everybody all worried and slowed down. And then we may consider coming to the surface um, quickly. We'll see if anybody shoots at us, and if nobody shoots at us, we'll call it good and just lay about us. That being said, there could be escorts. We don't know if there are or not. Nothing there, nothing there. Could be an escort there. I see an empire, I'm pretty sure, and a something. I don't know what it is. Liberties. Oh my god, so many liberties. 
Liberties, liberties. Or sorry, those are uh, empires. Uh, another tanker back there. This guy's got a list to her. I think we've shot her. Liberty. Empire, I mean. Uh, that, I think, is a tanker. Wow. Okay, I'm not seeing escorts. I don't see none. Okay, so we're locked to... Well, we were locked to the tanker. I lost her now. I'll find her again. It's okay. It's all right. We know what we're doing, I think. Most times. Liberties. There should be a tanker right over here. Tanker. Yoo-hoo. Hey, an NA-1. I love those little guys. Cute. Okay. My tanker friend. Let's get velocities and such. Uh, let's recognize her first. She's American, but that's okay because uh, they're, they're hanging out with other people. Which makes them fair game. USA, USA, here we go, USA, civilian, tanker class. Um, OL class, recognized. Velocity for our friend, the OL class American tanker. Yeah, <clears throat> there you go, VOL. That's true, yep. Automod Y. What happened? I must have missed something. I wish I had more torpedoes as well. Don't I ever. Belt-fed torpedoes. And a missile launcher would be great about now. Just destruction. Wanton destruction everywhere. She's going, uh, she's going about seven. Narrow. Yep, yep. I got you, my guy. Okay. Seven makes sense to this guy. Let's get an angle on bow for our friend. An angle on boo. Come on, let me click. I know you don't like you want to click on my boat, but that's neither here nor there. I want to do it, and you're going to let me. 48 degrees. 48 degrees. Bow left. 48.1. Close counts, people. Close counts. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, B, there you go. You, sir, are taking your memorization to the utmost limits of human comprehension. Let's let a little time go by, shall we? Just a wee little bit. I'd like to shoot at about 30 degrees, I think. Right around... Th uh, let's make it closer to 25. Make her closer to 25. Let's do that. <laughs> Distance to our friend. Approximately... There. One tube. Impact trigger. Two, two, three, seven makes sense. Uh, pilot, NGB. Thanks for that follow. Appreciate it. Much obliged. Launching. Torpedo away. All right. Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Let's move forward. Speed four. What's our depth? Eight. Yeah, it's fine. Big money, no whammies. Round looks okay. It's wiggling a bit, which is fun. Oh, yeah. 20 seconds, apparently, on the Hagen. The Hagen. Let's see how we do. I'd like to see some fireworks, please. She's a little high in the water. Might not have oil aboard, but still. Might not, but it might. Let's go swimming! Come on, darling, where you at? Incoming. Nice. Dud. Dud. Okay. Dud. 
Well, we're not wasting the last torpedo doing that. What we're going to do is we're going to come at it at a high rate of speed, come to the surface and see if we can cut it down. Damn you, realism. Anyway. There's supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. I agree. All right, we're going to see if anybody starts shooting at us, too. Incoming rounds are not what we want to see. I'm not dead. No, they're not dead. It's unfortunate. All right, let's get to the deck gun, deck gun, deck gun. There it is. Up and at them, boys and girls. Skipper, I need better observation. All right, so far I don't think they've caught sight of me. I don't see any incoming rounds. A lot of Liberties and C3s out there. They want to mess me up. They certainly can do it. All right, deck gun up. HE rounds loaded. Firing. Good hit. Superstructure. Firing at the engine spaces. Good hit. Engine spaces. Yep. Mmm. Too low. Too low. Once again, too low. I'm clicking, but it doesn't click right away. Getting a bad feeling about it? I mean, that's possibly not a bad call. Okay, she's not lighting up. I'm using AP currently. Let's swap to HE again. Let's start cutting the boat this way. I want HE for the possibility of fire. Mmm, not lighting up and we're doing barely any damage whatsoever. This doesn't look good. I don't think we're getting a boomer out of this one. I don't think we're gonna get a boomer out of this one, people. That's unfortunate. Makes me feel like I'm just wasting rounds. Okay, here's what we need. We need an officer to start reloading the gun. I need to get off the gun in order to do that. Hang on. Uh, deck gun. More rounds, please. Transfer, yes. Take helpers with you. Okay, where are we at? Here, let's do what? Get into the convoy further. Still going maximum speed. We are. No indication of incoming rounds. No indication of escorts. This guy is an NA-1. We don't want her. Let's... Uh, what do we want to do? Let's go this way and then this way. Alright, he's still moving rounds. Still no incoming, uh, no incoming rounds as of yet. Nobody's shooting at us. It's possible they can't really see us. Okay. Cut that way. No. Keep going this way. Alright. They're vulnerable to everything. NA1s are uh, vulnerable to Silly Putty. I will get the flat gun up and running, though. So just realize I'm letting tonnage go for no reason. Where's she at? Um, hello. Let's do... Yeah, HE's fine. Looks like she's listening a little. No damage, unfortunate. All right, steer this way. Maybe AP at this distance. Still no, uh, no damage. Hmm. Perhaps they... Oh, a little bit of damage there. Huh. Alright, what's to our forward? What's this guy? The Dezel-doo-doo? -doo? No. I want a large ship. 
to shoot um, a torpedo at, a large one. That's C3. All right, we're steering for the C3, maximum go. Yeah, we are. Okay. That's a Liberty out there. I'd love to sink that any one. That'd be ideal. But uh, I think the distance has got me here. Hmm. Maybe HE. Hello. Oh, there it is. Need a little bit of HE, apparently. There we go. She's got some damage now. Okay. Now, we should clear him, no problem. We're heading for the Drake, apparently. The Drake. Deck gun is ready now, yes. All right, Drake. We're gonna try to fire torpedoes at the Drake here momentarily. Cosmic needs to get on the gun for me. Come on, Cosmic. There we go. I might still be able to get a couple of shots at this guy. Yes, I can. Uh, AP, please. Hey, bud. Boom! Nicely done there. Boom. Hearing weird noises. I think I might be getting shot at. Yep, I certainly am. Please pull the trigger. Okay. Oof. Pretty sure this guy's shooting at me. Something's shooting at me. I don't know what is. Oh, I would say it's that C3. For real, though. Um, okay. Distance, 857 meters. Speed, 6.2. Distance, 850. Uh, I don't know what. 60 degrees. Torpedo magnetic, get low. 5 meters. Flood, flood, flood. Oh yeah, we're getting shot at. Are we ever? 800 meters, let's call it. Okay, ready? Firing, turn. Torpedo away. Torpedo away. What do we got going on? What's going on? Ooh, that was way high. Oh, no. Okay. I thought maybe I clipped it. 40 seconds to impact. Stop shooting at me. Win it. Ooh. 30 seconds. Ooh, oh no. I don't even know who's shooting me. I can't see the rounds. Did that thing explode? Is it still going? Hello? It is just very slowly. Okay. Alright, turn us about hardcore, cut down their ability to shoot us. Why can't I deal with this? Why can't I deal with that guy? It's not letting me, okay. Alright, turn the boat. 20 seconds. Come on. Come on. Come on. Slowest torpedo ever. Slowest torpedo ever. Come on. Do your dirty sinful business. There it is. She's gone. You're gone. You are gone, sunshine. Okay, can I heal anybody yet? Why am I not able to heal anybody? Where are your med medical things? Stupid ass. Oh my god, you had them when we left port. Where'd they go? Oh, this is so dumb. All of my medical things are gone. That's great. That's just wonderful. He had him in his backpack the whole time, but okay. Please, please pull the trigger. There we go. Phew-wee. It's because I don't have anybody helping me, do I? No? All right. Why can't you... Okay, he's starting to help one guy now. I don't know where all the med kits went, but okay. Come on, pull the trigger. I'm begging you. There it is. Okay. 
Easy, 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 easy. Just trying to do a little damage here. Trying to do a little damage. Come on, pull the trigger. Ah, of course I miss. Screaming at them to pull, pull the triggers and I'm missing. God damn it. Okay. Is you healing people yet? Heal people, please. Do it. Do it, do some more. Damage, damage everywhere. All right, I don't hear incoming rounds anymore. I don't. So, with any luck, it was that Liberty that was shooting at me. Come on. That went through that box. Perfect. Good, good. I'm glad. Enemy destroyer. Uh oh. All right. <laughs> dive, -dy dive, dive, dive. Enemy destroyers. That's no good. That's no bueno. No bueno. Don't like that at all. Slow to one. First aid for Mr. Whatever, whatever. Good. Okay, bring the boat down, gentlemen. Very important. I gave the order. Let's, let's dive. Let's die. There it is. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. We're all right. We're okay. We got a little banged up. We got a little banged up. <sighs> we got a little banged up. There's the escorts. They were just hiding. They were just hiding. That's okay. Alright, kill the motors here really quick. Kill dive planes. Ooh, definitely kill the compressor. Didn't even know that was running. We're getting pinged. Okay, let's start moving. Speed two. Keep going deeper. There we go. All right. Bring us up into the 100 range. Speed one. Oof. Okay. Well, that was something and a half now, wasn't it? Yeah. My crew is stressed. I bet they are. I would imagine that's a thing. Fill the motors. Get deeper. Okay, with any luck, all these other ships is going to confuse the crap out of her. I don't know where she is. That's not good. I don't know where she is. She might be right over me right now. I don't know where it is. All right, they turned away. Okay, okay. You turned away. That's good. Speed three. Get me out of here. Wow. That got intense really quickly. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Not too shabby overall. 4.17 a.m. Sun won't be up yet. Let's get to the surface. Oh, lordy, lordy. Cool. All right. We did a little bit more damage. It was dangerous. We did dumb things. Did I lose any personnel? I did not. We lost nary a soul. Fantastic. Good, good, good. All right, you go there. You're good there. Cool. Woof. All right, we've got to get these kilometers ate up. It's the unfortunate side of uh, there being a kilometric requirement, but it is what it is, unfortunately. Again, I hope they do away with it. I really do. Still alive, baby. Still alive. Yeesh. <clears throat> I don't know. When those rounds started coming in and I couldn't figure out where they were coming from, I figured I was cooked. The stuff of heroes and drinking songs. You're not wrong. You are not wrong, my friend. I think that's exactly what it is. Oh, man, oh, man. All right. Now we got to eat up these kilometers. I wish there was a, a thing you just plug in to make that go away. Turn them off or just 
hack it or whatever, because I, I don't see a purpose to it, I really don't. Um, you know what, Skipper, why don't we make sure the deck gun is full, just in case. Let's do that. Deck gun, we could use a little more of this, I think. Let's move those, yes please. Carry on, my wayward sons. There'll be peace when you're done, this is what they tell me anyway. I don't know about that for sure, but they tell me there will, there will be peace. Hoo-wee! Yeah, boys and girls. Got a little worrisome there for a little bit, not gonna lie. All I could hear was like the sizzling sound of the splashes from the incoming rounds, right? That makes it a little, uh, a little tough. Tend to, uh, not know which way to look or shoot, you know what I mean? Makes it a bit of a problem. Those things are important, knowing where, where to both look and or shoot. I think they're pretty important overall. I get nav up a little higher. See, being at alarm status means he's never doing nav anymore. Which means that your nav is going to drop to, an, to uh, a very unhappy amount. And since I've got him on a schedule, I've got to make sure he's got somebody with him to speed that up every time. Until I unlock second body for him, mind you. But he's only really going to get it up to the uh, mid-40s at a time, so that makes it harder. <clears throat> the silence of the sepulcher. I mean, more of a Boston guy. There you go, my dude. I like it. Um, Never realized till later. That makes sense. I get that. That's 100% a thing. Okay. We definitely want to make use of that extra little bit of uh, gold they want to give us by calling in the fact that we've completed this patrol. So we'll do that really quick. Yeah. And then we'll head back to, to Portinsky. Right back to Portinsky. Mr. Wills Ron, how you been, my dude? I'm doing okay. A little under the weather, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? For me, the answer is nothing. Suffer, essentially, is what I'm going to do, and that's going to be the end of it. Just suffer. All right, Sunday, October the 20th, 1940, back to Brest. There's an aircraft detected. Um, that's not good, probably. Gunwraith, thanks for that follow. Much obliged, appreciate it. Okay, Mr. Topol Kazan uh, picked up some points towards the Iron Cross second class. Um, Cosmic B picked up the Knight's Cross. Good job, my guy. Good job, my dude. I'm the skipper. I get more things than everybody because that's how being an officer works. I picked up the Knight's Cross. Good for me. And some points. Campaign of 45,000 uh, tons. Assault of British shipping epilogue completed. Completed. And we've moved into level 2, obviously. And level 2 is within our grasp. We're within, like, say, 15 or so. World News. Thursday, 29 October, 1940. Uh, Germany's proposal was rejected to use the Red Cross ships to recover downed airmen. Interesting. Um, radar technology has been shared with the United States. This is very hard for me to read. It's very small. <clears throat> um, <coughs> yeah, I can't. Uh, it's too small. Like, thank you for giving me all these uh, all these newspapers, but I can't read them. So. Do I get... Is there an end to them, do you think? Or maybe I shouldn't have unlocked that. How long were we at sea? My god. Okay. Yeesh. <clears throat> there was a convoy headed for Liverpool. Uh, we sank 12,423 tons out of that convoy. We sank the Cypress. She was taking tea to Liverpool. That's going to hurt them. What's an LOC? <clears throat> Remember the year, everybody. There we go. Pretty much photos, pretty much... Oh, I forgot to read that one. Um, something was taking something from somewhere to somewhere. That's pretty cool. The stand mount was taking stuff. Oh, man, I don't think I like those newspapers. I don't. The Porthapetta was sunk. The Drake was sunk. Ooh, that's a cool picture right there. I like that. That's neat. Wish I could read these. I wish they were big enough to read. That'd be... Helpful. I can move it, but I can't bring it any closer. Can I zoom into it somehow? No, I can't. Oh, no. I think I should have left those turned off. I don't like that. 
Okay, single, uh, a single patrol, 48,162 tons. Not too shabby. Yeah, I tried the mouse wool. It didn't work. Um, we sank the Sire, the Mustin, the Port Alma, the Cypress, which was a, a Q class. Mm. We sank the Guido, the King Robert, and the Stan Mounts. That's seven. The Porthopeta and Drake brings us to nine. Nine ships on a single patrol. Not too bad, if I say so myself. Got a fair amount of upgrades to get done here. Um, this is my radio operator. What do we want to get him? I didn't want to send him to bed. That's not what I... Okay, go do your thing. I want to go to this. Skills. Um, definitely want his paramedic skills cranked up. I really do. Okay, so that's... Oh, maybe he gets two. Looks like he gets two. All right. Um, faster radio message, better hearing, more sailors, don't need that, medical coordinator, um, not really, prop recognition, no, I could give him the ability to work the 88, but I already have three leaders, so that's fine, sensitive hearing is where we're at for that, all right, who's next, Mr. Dalhouse, Dalhouse, Lecker, oh, there you go, my guy, oh, yes, the T, the T, I made sure of it. This is my engineer, mechanic rather. I'd like to give him thorough. The amount of duds I'm getting is killing me. Oh my god. Uh, Cosmic, the XO has picked up a, uh, a command point. What do you want to give Cosmic? Personnel skills would be handy. Navigator, mm, not so much. Don't need a third sailor at this time. Iron Fist. Noise made by the crew as well as torpedo loading is decreased by 30%. I like that idea. Let's do that. Skipper got to level up as well. I think I'm probably going to give him the same skill. Uh, Iron Fist. Yeah, I like that. I love the idea of being able to load uh, a quieter torpedo set. I really do. <coughs> yeah, definitely. Snorkel is fantastic for doing um, missions where you got to attack like harbors and stuff. It's also great for Scapa Flow and the... Um, the um, Strait of Gibraltar, it's fantastic for that. Really, really good for that. So what else is kind of good, but also kind of crappy? This, everybody. We are coming to the end of tonight's stream. The end of the stream, everybody. Personally, I had some fun. We ran into a great, big, juicy, tasty convoy, and it was fantastic. I enjoyed it immensely. I think I might have been able to do a little more damage, uh, given a little more um, ordnance, but... You know, a few of our torpedoes dudded on us, and I did miss one, so that, that cut us down by, I think, three total. Or two, two or three total, as I missed out on, so it is what it is. No worries there, photos. It's all good, my guy. It is forever here on the internet. You can find it both here on Twitch for the next two weeks, and on my YouTube channel in per per perpetuity, apparently. I don't know, something like that. As it stands right now, V, I do plan to stream on Wednesday. Yes, I do. I do plan on that. Now, I do have to work out packing and whatnot because I leave Thursday morning, but as of right now, I, I have no indication in my life that uh, Wednesday won't work out. Well, thank you, Samurai. I appreciate you coming by and saying hello. Um, hey, hey, appreciate it there, Adam. Drink that Guinness for me, my guy. I never could get by on the whole stout thing. Uh, a chewy beer, it's not actually chewy, but that that tends to be more of a more of a ham on rye kind of a feel than it does a beer, but hey, appreciate you for it. Really do. That is what the road snacks are for, KJ. We gotta make sure the car's got enough uh, enough eats in it for two five-hour trips. So hey, it is what it is. Uh, DZMC, time does go so quickly, my guy. Time does move quickly. We've been online for two hours, three minutes, and 49 seconds at that point. Take it easy there, Cosmic. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it, my guy. Oatmeal stout guy when the temps drop below freezing. I can understand that. You definitely want to keep yourself warm, right? You're too kind, DZ. You're too kind. Thank you very, very much for the uh, the compliment. I appreciate it. I do. I do. Yep. So again, everybody, uh, stream is still a go for Wednesday. Um, I will do my best to have content available on the YouTube channel. Um, while I'm gone, that being said, that means I gotta get a fair amount of editing done tomorrow. With any luck, I'll get at least one up for you all, and uh, if I don't, I'm very, very sorry, and I will make sure to get back to a, a more 
um, regularly scheduled program until then. Well, DZ, I will see you Wednesday, my guy. I will see you Wednesday, 100%. Same to you, V. I will see you on Wednesday. Um, what else? Uh, listen, I do stream every Wednesday and Thursday, everybody. And if, I, if there's ever a change, I always let you know on my Twitter, my Discord, all of my socials. If somebody wants to go ahead and use the command socials for me, you'll get it here on Twitch. For those of you on the red and white app, just down below your, your stream, you will find the About Me section with all the links to all of my social media. Grumpy old aircraft mechanics. I like it, my guy. I like it a lot. Thank you, KJ. Much obliged. And again, for those of you who might not see that in the chat, just down below on the About page of my YouTube. All right, folks, listen. Appreciate you for coming by. Hope to see you again in the future. And until next time, I have been lightly salted. <laughs> oh, it's not stowed correctly because I dove in a hurry, my guy. I dove in a hurry. Remember that? Because the uh, destroyer was coming in. That's why the deck gun is askew. It is askew, my dude. It is not good. It's a, roughly a 30 degree angle to the ship. And that irritates me. But that's the way it's going to stay from now on. It's, well, not from now on, but for the time being. How about that? Yes, excuses. Good night, Kieran. Much obliged, my guy. About those torpedoes, we don't make mistakes. Happy little accidents. I don't know about that. I very rarely had a dud and been happy about it. I have had happy accidental torpedoes. I've had torpedoes that have killed a myriad of things all the way up to and including um, an aircraft here, which one errant torpedo accidentally missed my target and hit an aircraft carrier. An illustrious class, I think it was. It might have been a wasp, but probably an illustrious. And put it right to the bottom. It was uh, something. Good night, KJ. Take care of yourself, my guy. Appreciate it. And myself. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, true. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, folks, listen, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I have been lightly salted. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Bye now.